parsha, the Torah begins with the mitzvah of Shemitah, the sabbatical year. Every seventh year in the land of Israel, the Jews must rest the land and there can be no plowing, no planting, no pruning taking place. But what's very unusual about the way this mitzvah is articulated is that the Torah mentions the location where the mitzvah of the sabbatical year was given. The Torah emphasizes that it took place at Mount Sinai. And Rashi asks the age-old question of Ma Inyan Shemitah Eitzel Har Sinai, what does Shemitah, the mitzvah of the sabbatical year, have to do with the location where it was given at Mount Sinai? Or, as one can say in English or in Chinese, what does that have to do with the price of tea in China? And upon reflection, there is a famous story in the Talmud that I think articulates the connection between the mitzvah of the sabbatical year and the mitzvah and of Har Sinai. The famous story of Rabbi the Talmudic scholar that was so engrossed in Talmud study in his teachings that he one day was sitting on a bench and did not realize and he cut his hand from being in, while being engrossed in Talmud study. And there was this observer that was there and commented to Rava in disdain and said, you Jews are supposed to be a business savvy people. How is it that when you were approached by God at Mount Sinai asking if you want to receive the Torah, you just said, We'll sign and then we'll look at the details. Na Sevenishma. First you study the proposal and then you should decide whether or not the terms are acceptable to you. How is it that you Jews, who are normally such a business savvy people, made such a foolish decision in accepting the Torah at Mount Sinai? So Rava answered him that if this was a business relationship, you may be correct. Normally you study the proposal, but, and then you decide if the terms are appropriate for yourself. But this is not a business relationship, Rabbi said. This is a loving relationship. The relationship that God has with the Jewish people is, is equivalent to two people being in love. And when two people are in love and someone asks the other for something else, you don't say, let me study the proposal, let me look at the terms and then I'll just decide. You say, if it's important to you, I'll do it. And so too when God came to the Jewish people at Mount Sinai and He said, you want to accept the Torah? They said, we know you love us and we love you. Nasev and Ishma. We'll just sign at the dotted line. And that is how it relates to the mitzvah of the sabbatical year of Shemitah. Why would the Jews rest the land every seven years? Why would they walk away from their livelihood every seven years? And it's only because they believe in a loving God, that we know that God is out to give us pleasure in life, and we know and we trust Him for that. And that's why we accept the Torah. And that's why we accept the mitzvah of Shemitah, the sabbatical year. So that is the connection between Sinai and Shemitah. It's both reflective of the loving relationship that the Jewish people have with God. Folks, next week is the holiday of Shavuos, the anniversary of the giving of the Torah. It is that time when this loving relationship between the God and the Jewish people is reaffirmed once again over 3,300 years later. Let us pause and reflect upon that message and realize that we do indeed have a loving relationship with God. I think that's a wonderful lesson to emulate from this week's Parsha. Have a wonderful Shabbos.